A dead battery in your car is super annoying. A dead battery in your boat could mean floating over Niagara Falls. Stick around to learn all about common boat battery switch mistakes. Hi, I'm Sean from Lens Cove Lessons in Boating. And not every boat has a battery switch, although in our opinion, every boat should have one. We see all the time when people don't use it effectively, and what ends up happening is they end up with a dead battery either out on the water and are drifting around, going over Niagara Falls, or even just onto a rock, or they go to use their boat at their dock or get to a ramp and go to use it, and their batteries are dead. So in today's video, we're gonna cover the different types of battery switches. There are three main types that we're gonna cover. And then also how to use each type and keep your boating day on the water most enjoyable. For our video today, we're gonna to acknowledge three different boat battery switch types. Acknowledging that there are some very complex systems that you'll find on large cruisers and large yachts, which include multiple switch configurations and switches that have interaction between each other and, and we're not going to cover that today but we're going to cover a very basic and start with battery switch which is just on and off so the basic battery switch is for a single battery system and your one boat battery whether it's in a bow rider runabout deck boat or pontoon or a tow boat is just basically a single battery that runs everything on the boat your lights your electronics and your engine and your boat battery switch will just simply be on and off. The best way to manage that switch is simply when you go to use the boat, turn the battery switch on, and when you are done with the boat, either you're putting it on a trailer or leaving it tied to the dock, you turn the battery switch off. That way, if you inadvertently left something on, like a light switch or a radio, or there's a draw in your system that you're unaware of, at least when you come back to the boat the next day and you turn the battery switch on, it will have done what's called isolating the boat from the battery. And essentially it, it disconnects that battery from your entire boat supply. And you can do the same thing when you're out on the water. If you're out anchored somewhere and you're drifting away and you don't need something like your navigation or anchor lights or your stereo, you can turn your battery switch off when you're just swimming or out floating around on the water. So that's the best way to use that switch. And it's very common for people to forget to turn it off. Now hopefully your boat manufacturer was smart and wired the automatic bilge pump directly to the battery and not through your battery switch. The second type of battery switch is what we call an intelligent battery switch. And that is usually in a two battery system, but still only says on and off and emergency. And why we say it's an intelligent battery switch is that it often comes with circuitry which a, make sure that both batteries get charged when the engine's running, and B, make sure that certain uh, different components in your boat are drawing from different batteries. It's essentially deciding that the engine starts with one and other electronics come off the other, or a engine and a house battery. And that intelligent switch is designed so that the voltage is drawn from different batteries and it never allows that to cross. So your stereo won't kill your engine battery, and vice versa, your uh, house battery is always available to run your electronics. So in theory, you could kill the one battery but still start the boat with the engine battery, and then both batteries would charge back up. And the other benefit of this style of battery switch, other than having two batteries, is that it has an emergency position so that if your engine battery is a little low, you can switch it to emergency and it will draw power from both batteries. It's exactly the same as the regular battery switch on and off, and that is that you turn it on when you use it in the boat and you turn it off when you're done for the day. The third type of battery switch we are talking about today is the, the older style traditional battery switch, which you'll find on a lot of smaller cruisers and older boats. And they are on, off, and one, two, and they're usually two or more batteries or two battery systems. The one is usually, but not always, your starting battery. So you would switch it to one when you're starting the boat. The two is usually your house battery system. 
and you would switch that to when you were at anchor and you didn't want to draw down your starting battery. Some cruisers have things like lots of lights in the cabin, they have refrigerators, so it's really important on those boats that you isolate to the house battery bank or bank number two to make sure that you don't draw down your engine batteries. Just like any other battery switch and boat, when you're done with the boat for the day and you're leaving, you're gonna to wanna to turn that battery switch to the off position. And if you do find yourself in a situation where the engines won't start, you can go to the both position and join both the house and start battery in parallel so that you can start the, the engine. Some things to watch for on those traditional batteries is that some of them will allow you to switch the battery switch from one to two to both while the engine is running and others won't. So just be really careful and maybe look up the specifications for your exact battery switch. Other than kill switches, controls not being in neutral or being out of gas, a dead battery ranks right up there with our most common boating issues and calls to the service department. One way you can avoid this is to by carefully using your battery switch and making sure you turn it off when you're done with your boat and on when you're using it. If you don't have a battery switch in your boat, it's a great thing for you to add in the off season and even better if you add a second battery because the battery switch and second battery is always less than a tow and a tow ruins a weekend and a battery switch will save it. Thanks for joining us on today's Lens Cove Lessons in Boating. Make sure you subscribe to get on board for more of these type of videos. If you like today's video, make sure you throttle that like button, get out on the water, have fun, and stay safe.